Good morning. Um, this video is uh, primarily because I want to give an update about what are we doing as a church in the light of all the changes that are taking place, that are taking place right now in our country and across the world in a season of unprecedented um, that has never been um, you know, something like this in the history of humanity where um, all the nations are surrounded by fear and a pandemic that is putting fear in the hearts of people and making nations change a lot of things. Um, we, we, all of us are getting affected by that. And so because of that, because of the directives that came from our state government, Telangana, and also um, you know, the directive that came from our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, uh, in the light of all the things that are taking place uh, as a nation, there are some changes that we need to make. And so along with the nation, because we are Indians, we as a church also need to make some changes um, in the way that we do things, uh, at least for the coming weekend. But before I talk about that, let me just take a moment to encourage you uh, with a psalm. Psalm 34, David uh, talks about um, and, um, um, how God delivered him from all the evils. Well, in fact, right in the beginning of that psalm, Psalm 34, he starts off calling all the people to come and celebrate, come and worship our Lord and talk about how great our God is. And then he goes on to say, I, I prayed when I was helpless, I prayed to my God and my God um, showed his face to me, turn away, turn, uh, rescued me from all the troubles that I was in. Um, and then he goes on to talk about how the fear of the Lord uh, will help us um, to see God coming to, um, to, to show us his goodness and meet all our needs without lacking anything in our lives. And here is another thing that is really interesting in that psalm as he speaks, he talks about how the angel of the Lord guards and protects us all the time, those, especially those who fear him. In this season of panic, in, the season, in this season of disease, in this season of an unseen enemy who is attacking us constantly and affecting nations together and people groups together, I want to encourage you, do not lose uh, your courage, do not lose your confidence in your God. Um, he's always in control. That's one thing you need to remember. God is in control. Um, God is good. It also means this, that um, there is no way that each of us who depend on him, pray to him, constantly surrender ourselves to him, uh, will any, in any way put, will be put in danger. Um, so therefore, believe in the goodness of God. Taste and see that the Lord is good, the psalmist says. So God is in control. Remember that God is good. And here is an important thing for us to remember that God always works things out for our good. He, um, I mean, everything that is happening in our lives, God knows how to turn it around and use it for our good. So if you can remember these things, uh, you will have no place in your heart for fear or panic. Trust in God, depend on Him. Um, I want you to know this, that as a pastor, one of, the, one of the most important things for me is to see all of us come together in the church, worship together every single Sunday. It brings joy to me when I watch people gather together, lift their hands up, lift their hearts up, lift their lives, lift their needs, everything that they have and offer in, in, a, um, in, a, in a manner where you are unashamed of who, you know, who you are and you are unashamed of who your God is and offer a great worship and watch how God speaks to us week after week uh, as we gather together as one family. Um, there is nothing more important to me than to see all of us coming together and worshiping. Um, but it does not mean that we do that putting somebody else in danger. And because of what is happening across the world right now, and especially um, um, the, this particular virus that is affecting um, nations and, you know, uh, and people, people especially who are vulnerable, it would become our responsibility to guard and protect them by protecting ourselves. And I, so in the, in the light of that, and also in the light of what our government required us to do as a church. Um, Telangana government had requested the churches to close for this Sunday um, until, of course, further notice. Um, and also our PM has requested us not to meet together as, as groups of people on this particular Sunday. 
So just for this coming Sunday, Capstone will go online. That our entire service would be online. We would um, you know, record that for you and release it on Sunday morning as a family. You gather together, you worship together in, in front of your computers, in front of your TVs. Um, there are a few options where you can go. You can watch it on your phone on Facebook Live. You can watch it on YouTube Live. Uh, you can go to our Capstone website and uh, click on online service and it'll go directly it'll take you directly to the link that takes you to the online service um, so we as a team we will work together and and still do the service together for you um, on sunday we'll pray with you we will pray for you um, we will continue to minister to you through the word of god and um, let's hope that um, wherever we are whether at, as as a family at home um, or as you know as an individual you are in hostels or you know for some reason you have to go to work at your workplace just join us online and worship along with us um, we will it will be a full service experience uh, so don't don't forget to join us this sunday uh, the 22nd of march uh, we will um, repeat this repeat the telecast again at 11 o'clock and keep it there online available for you throughout the day whenever you want to you know uh, take time to worship uh, whenever you get an opportunity together to come together as a family as as an individual to worship the lord um, so therefore uh, this is the update for you this sunday we will not have services at any of our campuses both in our singing and elementary we will not have services there uh, but our services would be live at nine o'clock and eleven o'clock on the, on um, you know the the three options that we have on Facebook, on YouTube, and uh, Capstone website. If you can go to Capstone website, there's a column that says online worship. Um, just click on that; you will it'll take directly uh, to online service. Um, for this Sunday, that is the update for you. Um, based on what the government decides on monday or based on new updates we will keep updating you if there are any changes uh, in this regard uh, believe this that god is good he's always in control believe this that he will work out everything for our good just trust him love him depend on him pray together as a family we will as a church pray together to see uh, god um, in an unprecedented way in a miraculous way provide solution uh, to fight the coronavirus um, you know the nations are on their knees right now and um, um, they're looking for some kind of solution and we know that our God is a healer we know that our God is a protector and he can do that believe that um, be prepared for this Sunday clip keep yourself clean always and just as the government you know directed us stay at home as much as possible uh, and keep yourself healthy um, I'm, I'm sure all of you as Capstonians you are healthy if there are people who are unhealthy just send us a text we will pray for you on this Sunday in our prayer time uh, we will pray together for healing the, for God to bring you and um, stay stay healthy stay safe join us on worship God bless you